Hey guys, this is Becca. I am back for my week 63 check-in. This was a really exciting week. I have so much to say. It's funny, I felt like I had nothing to talk about last week and this week I have way too much to talk about. Um, but I'll just get right into it. So I, as I said last week, I started my community college class at um, Pima Community College and I am so glad that I signed up to take this class. It was just a totally different ambiance. I was really reinvigorated by working with other people and kind of being in that setting. I'm just, I think it was definitely the right move to do right now because it was just fun. It is so fun to be in a classroom setting. I kind of forgot about that since I've just been kind of doing the daily grind of personal study. So it's just, I mean, it's just the perfect thing for right now. Um, the biggest thing about it this week was that this was my first time drawing from a live model in well over a year, maybe like almost a year and a half. So I was really, really worried about whether my study, which is recent study, which is mostly from photos, was gonna to translate to life drawing. And if you are in the art community or doing figure studies at all, you know there's this big point of contention about whether it's good to study from photos, whether you should study from them at all, how far superior studying from live models is, whether it translates. So I was really worried that I was gonna go in and it was just gonna be like I had made no improvement in a year because I had taken uh, figure drawing one last year. Uh, but I can tell you confidently that it does in fact work. I was so relieved. Um, it didn't really seem that different than drawing from a photo. At first it was kind of jarring because I hadn't been in that setting in a while, but ultimately I found that my drawings probably looked pretty comparable to what I would have done from a photo based on the time limits. So I did one minute, two minute, five minute, and 10 minute drawings this week. And the one minute and two minutes were bad <laughs> they were really bad, uh, but they're bad even when I draw from a photo, so that didn't really surprise me. Uh, but when I got to the longer drawings, I felt like they really did look quite similar, just in terms of uh, correctness and proportions and detail uh, to what I would be doing from a photo. So if you were studying online and you're worried that you're wasting your time, uh, you're not. Because I know a lot of people can't get to draw from a model, and it's expensive if you're not in a class or you don't have something cheap to go to, so don't worry about it uh, if that's you because I, from personal experience, can tell you that it it was fine. It worked fine. Um, let's see. So instead of drawing from with that crazy Watts pencil, <laughs> I was using like a very big, fat, chunky stick of vine charcoal or compressed charcoal. And it's pretty hard to use. It's kind of a bit unwieldy. So that was one of the challenging things that I'm trying to get used to drawing with that, especially for gesture drawings, which we, they don't really cover that much in Watts, um, but that was one difference there. And the biggest improvement I saw after studying from Watts was that my head indications were way, way better, like leagues better and much more efficient. Um, pretty much I would avoid drawing the head if at all possible um, when I took this class last year, similar class last year. I would be like drawing in the eyelashes and the toenails and still like wouldn't have drawn in any of the facial features at all because it was just so frustrating to me. And so um, this time around, I felt like I was much better at getting the head angle and kind of understanding how the head attaches to the body, getting the features in. So that was, I thought, a, a huge improvement from um, my older stuff. The biggest challenge so far has been now that I've gone through all this study and I've done, you know, the mannequins, all these abstractions, different types of, you know, shape building for the figure. I find that I get really overwhelmed very quickly if I start to think too hard about what I'm drawing. So let's say that if the model goes up and takes a pose, it's really hard to think to yourself, should I use the Riley method? Should I use the ovals for the torso and pelvis? Should I use the overlapping potato chip method? Like, should I make it more angular? Should I make it more blocky? How do I use a gesture line? How do I use various abstractions? <coughs> Excuse me. So it's easy for me. I mean, I feel like I could spend five minutes just thinking about it and not actually get anything drawn. So I'm trying to find that balance between being strategic about how I draw and also not wasting time. So that's sort of where I am with that right now. One other thing that I learned in this 
about this class is that it's actually going to be more of a painting class, which I was like, well, okay, cool. I have been putting that off for ages, so might as well just get started with that now too. But that meant that uh, I wasn't going to have an, as much anatomy study as I was hoping to get. So I caved <laughs> and I bought the Proco classes. <laughs> I know. I was like, I have such an art problem. I like, I'm like embarrassed to talk about it because it's such a problem, but I can't help myself. I just can't. So I got the portrait, figure, and anatomy package, which was pretty expensive. It was $340, which is a little painful, um, but I need, I need that information and that seemed like the best place to get it. So I just started working on that. The first week was uh, attempting to do anatomy traceovers. Uh, I think the point of this was mostly to prove that you don't know anything. And let me tell you, my drawings proved that I did not understand this. <laughs> I just looked at, I traced his after I did mine. And I was like, hmm, yep, definitely have a fundamental lack of understanding about how the muscles overlap and how they work together and what's going on underneath your skin, basically. But I guess that's good because that's why I bought the class. If I already knew everything, then it wouldn't be worth the money. So that was this week. <laughs> I've been talking for a long time. Uh, I included all of my drawings, even the ones that were really bad, even though I didn't want to, because I felt like it would be a more honest representation of progress over time. And just to show that, you know, it's, it's like five bad drawings for one good drawing right now, because I'm still in so much of the learning phase. So that's everything for this week. Um, I'll be back next week. On to the drawing.